Among Us, a game that we all enjoy, that you can play with your friends or by yourself. But things are not always as they seem. The first appearance deceives many, just like myself. When I first downloaded Among Us, I didn't know what to expect. But after playing it with my friends, I had a lot of fun. But it was up until I decided to play by myself that I would begin to face many weird things. There was a lot of mystery surrounding this game on what came before us. Like who were the first crewmates that were found on Scaled? Who created the Mira HQ base? How did the airship come from Henry Stickman? And who discovered Polis? These are a few questions that you may have asked yourself at least once, but have no answer. But there is one thing that I have always wanted to know about Among Us, is where did the ghosts come from? Whenever you die, you become a ghost, and then you somehow come back to life the next game. And there is a lot of evil ghosts out there, for example, we have No Visor, Yes Visor, which is his brother, and a few others that haven't been discovered. But there is a ghost in Among Us that has been haunting the map of Polis, which is Andromeda. And if you ever see her, make sure you're very careful. And let me tell you why. But before we get any further into this video, if you enjoy my content want to see more, let's try to hit our like goal of 30,000 likes. That way I know that you want to see more of these type of videos. And if you're new to the channel and don't want to miss out on any of my story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. You are always welcome to be part of the Chari family. But now, let me tell you the story about Andromeda and what exactly happened to her that caused her to haunt the map of Polis. So the map of Polis was released on November 12, 2019. Almost two whole years. At the time, this was the biggest map in all of Among Us before the airship was even released, which came out recently. The map of Polis introduced many new tasks, but the thing about this map was that there was a lot of destruction everywhere. There's a bunch of holes, one of the vents is even broken, and the laboratory is a total mess. You can even find a white crewmate behind the door, which can be found in the laboratory. This crewmate is also known as Captivate, and I'm sure many of you have heard his story. And if you haven't already, I recommend that you go check it out. It can be found on my channel. So what exactly is a map of Polis? It looks very different compared to the other maps. The scaled and the airship map are ships. Mira HQ is an entire base, and Polis is just Polis. It looks different, and that is because Polis is an entire different planet, which I'm sure many of you already know that. And during my time in Among Us, I have encountered many creatures on this map. Murray is known as the King of Polis, and he can be found underneath the massive hole. Molten can be found inside of the lava pool, and I have also encountered Red and Saboteur on this map. So there is a lot of creatures that are hiding. But who were the original crewmates that discovered this planet? Well, let me tell you my story on what I believe happened on this map. So there was once a researcher by the name of Andromeda who was sent to the map of Polis to gather data. Andromeda cared a lot about her family and her friends who were also fellow crewmates but little did she know that she would never see them again. Andromeda spent the following weeks gathering research. She looked around the entire planet because Polis was just so different and she was always a fan of space and what can be found out there. That is also why she decided to leave her friends and family behind because she wanted to focus on her career. She investigated Murray's hole. She also did a lot of research on the lava pool. And she's also one of the main reasons why Polis has energy. She was one of the reasons why they decided to use a lava pool to power the entire base. Andromeda was a pretty smart girl. Several engineers were then sent to the map of Polis to start building a base because Andromeda sent a message to the commander about how great Polis was and that this would be a perfect place to set a base, which is what they ended up doing. Andromeda spent a lot of her time inside of the laboratory, and also the specimen room, which is the area that she conducted several experiments. She collected several critters that can be found across the map of Polis, and she did a lot of research on them, but little did she know that her happiness would soon end. 
There was another crewmate by the name of Unknown, who was one of Andromeda's friends, and researcher as well. He did a lot of things that were very similar to Andromeda. He would walk around Polis, conducting research on the entire planet. But the thing about Unknown, he was always angry. I don't know if he hated his shop or if he just had some sort of anger issue. And he was always jealous of Andromeda because everyone loved Andromeda. Nobody cared about Unknown. And this is when things would go very wrong. While Andromeda was out researching, Unknown snuck into the lab all by himself. He made his way through the laboratory and then entered the specimen room and found Andromeda's stuff. He could see the test tubes where Andromeda was doing her testing with the little critters. Unknown was fascinated with Andromeda's discoveries, but Unknown was a crewmate that felt no remorse. Even though he found her work very cool, he was jealous. So he took one of the critters inside of the tube and took it to the lab. He wanted to get rid of it. He placed the critter on top of the table, but then it moved. And then got on top of Unknown and bit him. He thought it was a minor bite and that it would go away. But Unknown didn't know at the time that the critter was an imposter. Unknown was then walking around Polis and he didn't feel that well. He felt even more angry than before. That is because he was an imposter. And as I mentioned earlier, Unknown didn't know what that was. Unknown was then no longer himself. He used the vents found across the map of Polis, and he was doing it without even realizing. One day, while Andromeda was in the laboratory, Unknown walked in. Andromeda was feeling very weird about him until Unknown got close to her and killed her. Unknown then got Andromeda's body and threw it inside Murray's hole, which means that her body was never found. So she's been a ghost forever. Her family back in Skeld were wondering what happened to her. But the crewmates didn't hear from Andromeda or Unknown. Unknown would then later develop arms. Which means that he was the first imposter slash crewmate to have visible arms. But there was one crewmate who was determined to find Andromeda. And that was Estrella. Estrella is Andromeda's sister. And she wanted justice to be served for whoever killed her sister sister and she was gonna do anything to find out the truth if you want me to post part two let's try to get this video to 30,000 likes i do also want to give a massive shout out to lazy doggo for helping me produce this video if you want to support a smaller creator make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him and if you're new to the channel want to see more manga story videos make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on and check out these other manga story videos that are found on my channel